welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel today will be a story time about how the boat party went wrong so grab your snacks and your drinks while listening to the story because this is a crazy one this story takes place of august last year and i was texting my friend one day we'll name her hannah she texted me mentioning a boat party that her friend was having. She proceeds to tell me that her friend was renting a boat for a day at the lake with a few of his friends. He wanted her to invite a few more people, so she asked me to go, and I originally said no. I said no because I wouldn't know anybody there, and I didn't want to feel awkward or out of place, and I'm an introvert, so if you're an introvert, you understand. A few days pass, and she texts me again. She tells me how she really wants me to go and she's asking if I'm sure that I don't want to go. From what she was told, there was going to be guys and girls age ranging from 18 to 25 at the oldest and I was 18 at the time. Even though I was still iffy about going, I said yes. Everyone had to pitch in and pay for their spot to go and she tells me that she paid for me. So now I really have to go even if I don't want to and I can't back out because she paid for me. The day of the boat party, I had to wake up super early because we had to be at the lake by 9 a.m. since they were renting it the whole day. I woke up, got ready, and called an Uber to Hannah's house. The Uber driver was really cool though, so shout out to her. Hannah invited two of her friends, so once I arrived to her house, they were already there waiting. We head to the gas station to pick up snacks and drinks because we didn't know if they would have any in the boat and we would be there all day. Everything is going good, the vibe is good, until we leave the gas station. As Hannah's friend starts to back out, all we heard was a <laughs> We turn around and automatically see another car. What a great way to start your morning, right? When her friend was backing out, another car kept going, causing her to hit them. But thank God no one got hurt. She proceeds to call the police to report the accident and it felt like forever until they arrived, which is understandable. Mind you, Hannah's other friend and his friends had already left the dog by the time 9 a.m. hit. They were gone. The police finally arrive and she exchanged her information. She drives us to a lake at a different dock and luckily they hadn't gone far, so we just meet them at a different dock so we can get on the boat. Unfortunately, the one who was driving couldn't come with us due to the accident. She had to take care of all that. Once we get out of the car, we start walking up the dog and a boat's coming in with guys that only looked middle aged. That can't be our boat. Then we see her friend get off that boat and start walking towards us. So we're still debating if we even want to get on or not. She confronts him about it and we came to the conclusion to just get on the boat anyways because they already paid and it was a good chunk of money. So the three of us go to our little corner and we sit down. It was so awkward and it was like that for about 15 minutes. So I proceed to ask how old everyone is. And two guys were our age, two guys were in their 20s, one was in his 30s, the oldest was 40. That was a big age gap from the ages she was told that I was gonna be there. We explained the miscommunication and they were shocked about it. They were told from the same guy that us three would be in our 20s. They start picking on him for lying about it, but overall they were really nice. They reassured us that they weren't creeps or anything. They made sure we were comfortable. They also reassured us that they didn't know we were really going to be 18 since they thought we would be way older. Overall, mainly us three stuck together during the day. We ended up stopping at a restaurant at one of the docks and shortly after that it was time for us to leave and return the boat. It wasn't too bad of a day. We made the best out of the situation. It was just unexpected to say the least. Overall the guys were really nice but it was just a little weird at first. But anyways that wraps up today's story time about how the boat party went wrong. I hope you enjoyed this story time and I will be doing more story times in the future. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!